You're listening to Release Your Resistance with Bex Beltran, episode 87. Welcome to Release Your Resistance. This is Bex. The only reason why any of us don't have what we want in life is because of our own resistance. Right now, I'm learning how to recognize and release my resistance, and this podcast tells you how you can release your resistance so that you can live the exact life that you want. Let's get started. For the month of September, I want to talk with you about getting unstuck. We've all heard this expression. Maybe we use the expressions, I'm stuck, or I'm stuck in a rut, or I feel so stuck. But what does that actually mean? What are we referring to? Or what is someone referring to when they say those words? What does it mean to be stuck? Stuck can mean a lot of different things. Sometimes when I think the thought, I'm stuck right now, I am noticing that I am spinning or circling back over something. Maybe I have an idea for something or I think I should do something, but then I have resistance to it. But then I still think it is a good idea, so I find myself looping and circling back and not taking any action, not moving forward, and also not letting go of it. And that is one of the ways that sometimes I feel stuck where I want to do something, but I can't. But I want to, but I can't. But I want to, but I can't, and I'm stuck. (laughs) Another way that I have noticed myself or other people showing up as stuck is a complete withdrawal or avoidance. For example, if someone is currently feeling stuck in their business, let's say, maybe They are completely withdrawing. They are not showing up. They are not doing things to grow their business that they should or could do. And they're avoiding taking any action or moving forward in their business. So, of course, they feel stuck because they are avoiding it and not moving forward. They are withdrawing instead of advancing. And they're not doing anything. And they're not trying anything, and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy when they feel stuck, and that lethargy actually increases, if this is even possible, the stuckness. Another way feeling stuck might show up for someone is that it feels too hard to change. When this happens, we just continue with what is happening, and we just stay where we are stuck. Imagine yourself in a situation that you really don't like. Think of a situation that is pretty or even just slightly uncomfortable that you wish was different. In this situation, there is a way out. You could make a change. There is something different you could do, but that takes effort or risk or energy, or time, or money, or all of the above. And rather than expending that energy or effort and taking that risk, you just stay in that uncomfortable situation. For me, this last example, resistance to change, even for the better, is the biggest example of being stuck. It's when we know we want something else, we know something else is available or is possible or could happen, but we just don't do it. We do not step out of our stuck position Because we are familiar with our current discomfort. Maybe our current uncomfortable familiarity just seems like it could possibly be slightly more comfortable than the discomfort of taking that risk or doing that thing or trying it out or spending the time or the money or the energy. Have you identified a way that you have felt stuck or maybe currently are feeling stuck from some of the examples that I just gave. Let's also mention some synonyms or adjacent emotions that we might be feeling while we are being stuck. Maybe you feel hopeless, disheartened, unmotivated. 
Maybe you feel confined or paralyzed or trapped. Maybe those feelings lead to starting to feel like a victim or a martyr or that you're just at the mercy of your current situation. And even though some part of you knows that change and movement and progress is possible, it all feels very unlikely because after all, you're stuck. And I just want to point out here that I am not only talking about major situations where we feel stuck. A major situation might be if you're feeling stuck in a career or in a relationship or not knowing your life's purpose or not knowing where to go or what to do next. But we can also feel stuck in minor areas. Someone could feel stuck about what to do about a current decision or what to focus on this week or what to choose as a topic for a podcast episode. Maybe in the big picture, you might be feeling stuck about seemingly inconsequential things, but that is still feeling stuck. And that can still be a drain on your energy and your motivation and your confidence. And feeling stuck is not mandatory. For the month of September, I really want to talk about how to get unstuck. If you are feeling stuck in a major or minor area of your life, you don't just have to stay stuck. There are things that you can do. There are things that you can try. There are different thoughts that you can think that can help you to get unstuck and take a little tiny step in a direction or maybe take a huge major leap in that direction. When I was trying to think about how I have felt stuck in the past, the example that immediately came to mind was the one that I talked about in my transformation episode at the beginning of August. I noticed that I felt stuck when I was identifying as lost and purposeless. I was waiting for something. I was waiting for it. And I expected it to come and find me. I was taking some very tiny actions at first, so I wasn't completely stuck in a fully avoidant way, but I wasn't really letting myself get too uncomfortable either. I wasn't really expanding too much time or energy in order to find my purpose. I wasn't really taking too many risks in order to get unstuck and move myself. And now I see there are tools that I could have used and thoughts that I could have thought that would have helped me so much during that period. And that is what I will be sharing with you this month here in September 2021 or whenever you are listening to this. And we can call it Get Unstuck in September. Here's my theory about how you or I or anyone can get unstuck. It's a three-part process. And I do think the three parts need to go in this order, but they also can overlap. And you might circle back or do one or more of the three parts multiple times because this is an ongoing process. And even if you get unstuck from this current situation that you're currently in next time, You could be feeling stuck about a different situation. In the future, you will be feeling stuck about something else. So these are great tools to have and to remember and to try out. And you can expect to adapt them over and over and over again and reuse them. Basically, just plan on using these tools for the rest of your life if you want to. The first tool that I have for you is to get awareness around your thinking. Next week, I'll do a whole episode all about the specific ways you can get awareness around your thinking. But for now, as a quick explanation for a lot of people who are feeling stuck, they don't even know that they are stuck. They say the words or they think the thought, I'm stuck, I'm feeling very stuck, I just feel like I'm in a rut, but they don't even realize that is a thought. They don't have the awareness that it is just a sentence that they are thinking. 
They are not literally standing in a rut or in a bucket of glue. (laughs) They are not literally stuck. It's a thought that they are thinking about their current situation. And that is the first tool to get that awareness. You could ask yourself, what is making you feel stuck? What are you thinking that's causing that stuck feeling? We'll get more into depth on how to get awareness next week, but for now, just know getting awareness is the first tool. The second tool is to check your thoughts against your results. And this tool is going to be the episode topic two weeks from now, and I will give you some more specific real life examples about how you can check your thoughts against your results. But for now, when I say results, I mean two different types of results. You can check the results that you want and you don't yet have. That would be like the destination that you can see from your stuck point. Seeing that destination or that result and not being there yet might even be contributing to the reason that you are thinking that you are stuck. You don't want to be stuck. You want to be there over there instead. So that's one type of result. And the other type of result refers to the results that you already have that you do want. Yes, you might be feeling stuck right now, but in this current stuck position, there may be many things that you are actually very satisfied with and very grateful for. And I want you to check to see what thoughts got you those current results that you are currently enjoying and appreciating at the same time that you're also feeling stuck about another part of your overall situation. In mid-September, we will have a whole episode dedicated to checking your thinking against the results that you have, as well as the results that you want. The third tool is the whole point of my coaching practice and the whole point of this podcast. It's the work that I do It's what many of my journals are designed to help you do. So the third tool, obviously, is release your resistance. It's the third tool in getting unstuck. And I will be telling you all about that tool three weeks from today on the last episode of September. And we will go into deep detail about specific ways that you can use to release resistance. And just to give you a preview of how all of these tools work right now, The whole point in releasing resistance is noticing those thoughts that you now have awareness about and then that you have checked against the results that you want and have with the first two tools and then refuting those thoughts. You let some of those thoughts go. You consider the alternative. Maybe you even allow yourself to have been wrong. These are all the ways that you can release resistance in addition to all the other ways that I have shared over the last year and a half on this podcast. I really hope that if you have current questions or confusion, or if you have tried to release resistance in the past and you want some more specific guided help that you want to hear on this podcast, I hope that you will send me a message or an email in the next few weeks so that When I record that release resistance episode at the end of the month, I can include an answer specifically for your exact question. All of us have been stuck at different points in our lives. Maybe you are even feeling stuck right now, and that is why I'm sharing this three-tool process to get unstuck so that you can move towards the direction that you want to move in or get some results that you want or start working towards something or a goal or a plan that you have already had for a while. And you can do this, first of all, by getting awareness around your thinking. I have some specific examples to give you of how to do that. The second thing for you to do is to check your thoughts against your results, both that you already have and those that you want. And then, of course, the third tool is for you to release resistance. And that is how you can get unstuck. And if you don't want to wait for the next three episodes so you can learn how to use all those individual tools with the individual examples that I have for you, of course, you always have the option 
to hire me as your coach. Maybe someone feels a little stuck about taking the steps to hire a coach. Maybe it feels a little uncomfortable or unknown to take that first action and figure out what it would be like to work with a coach towards a specific goal or a specific plan or an outcome. So I wanted to take some time today to really share with you what it's like and all the specifics of working with me as your resistance coach. In case you've always kind of been wondering, you're a little curious, but you've never taken this first step to find out. So over the last year and a half, I have tried a few different ways of working with clients. I've worked with people in one-on-one and in small group settings. And when I started my coaching practice back at the end of 2019, I was doing weight loss coaching as the final part of my coaching certification program And I really enjoyed it. I was very good at it. My clients saw a lot of success, not only in their weight loss, but in other areas of their lives too. And it was just so empowering and so exciting and fun, both for the clients, of course, and for me as the coach. It is so fun to get to see those real-time results and changes. At that time, because I was focusing on weight loss coaching, I was offering a six-week weekly coaching package. And as time has progressed and as I have learned my work style and preferences, and as I have seen how my coaching clients really respond to working with me, I have noticed in most cases, we prefer not to work together on a weekly basis. That's interesting, huh? So in the middle of 2020, I really transitioned from offering weekly coaching to bi-weekly and one-off coaching. So right now, what I'm currently doing with most of my clients is a bi-weekly month-to-month coaching model. And if you were curious about how this could work for you, here's a way that you could do it. And just to get very, very super specific in case this is what you're looking for, the current monthly rate as of September of 2021 is 159 per month for two 45-minute sessions per month. In fact, at the time of this recording, I am specifically looking to fill a coaching appointment on the second and fourth Wednesday of each month at 3.30 p.m. Arizona time. So if that is a perfect fit for you and you want to grab that appointment time, just go to bexby.org slash coaching and sign up for your bi-weekly sessions. And then, of course, I also have a few other times available in case you aren't necessarily looking for Wednesday afternoons. We can meet by phone, audio only if that's your choice, or on Zoom with our cameras on. It's totally up to you. Another option, if you want to see what coaching is like, is to book a consultation with me. This is a free call where we get on the phone or on Zoom, again, it's your choice, for about 45 minutes, and we can either go straight into coaching so you can get a feel for what it's like, or I can take you through a coaching exercise to show you some areas of your life and basically give you a consultation to recommend an area or a direction for our coaching. And I've gotten feedback from people who have taken me up on the consultation that it is life-changing. Clients have shared that they hear insights from just that one conversation that they had not even considered before, and that then they can take action after just, again, that one initial conversation that they were hesitant or worried or scared or just resistant to take action on before. So if you book a coaching consultation, at the end of that call, we will decide if we want to continue to work together or if that was just a one-time thing. So if we do decide that we want to continue working together, we can set your appointment up for either a one-off appointment or you can start on the month-to-month subscription. My availability calendar is on my website at 
becksby.org, look for the link in the top right corner that says work with me. And the calendar is just so easy to use. And it connects to PayPal, where you can enter your payment information. So either $99 for a one off session, or $159 for a month to month plan, which you can cancel at any time before the next billing date. And I have found that running my coaching practice this way is a very low maintenance and very seamless and very easy way for my clients and for me. If you ever need to take a break, you would just let me know. I would pause or cancel the coaching appointments and the billing. And because it is month to month, there is no long-term commitment for you or for me. And I have had clients who had coaching with me in the past and then something changed in their lives. So we stopped coaching together. And then later they decided that they wanted to come back and have a few more months of coaching. So that's just what I love about the open-ended. You're not committed to anything for six months. It's not a weekly thing where the coaching appointment just comes around so quickly. We get so much done and achieved during those two sessions each month. Now, I'm curious to hear what about the coaching process with me have I left out and not described to you? What other questions do you have that I didn't touch upon? Or what other resistance might have kept you from working with a coach or working with me? And also, what else do you want to hear about getting unstuck? In the next three weeks, I will be diving much deeper into those three tools, getting awareness around your thinking, checking your thoughts against your results, and releasing resistance. So if you can think of questions, comments, concerns, curiosity that you have about those topics, make sure to send me an email at hi at bexb.org or leave me a comment in the show notes at bexb.org slash unstuck. So that's B-E-X-B dot O-R-G slash U-N-S-T-U-C-K. Bexb dot org slash unstuck. And let me know what you think should be included in those upcoming episodes. I cannot wait to hear your examples of feeling stuck and your questions about the three tools. Plus, I can't wait to find out Who decides to take the first little step towards coaching, either with your first coaching session with me or in a coaching consult? And remember, next week, we will be talking about the first tool, getting awareness around what you are thinking, which is, of course, my specialty as a coach. And I have so many ideas to share with you, either in a coaching session or on the episode. So let me know as soon as possible what questions you have so that I can include them in the episode. Thank you again for listening today. I hope you have a great week and I will talk with you next Friday, if not sooner. This has been Release Your Resistance. Thank you for listening. If you like this podcast, make sure you're subscribed and leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Also, think about someone who you know who would love this episode and share it with them. There should be a share button on your app if you're listening to this on your phone. If you'd like to continue this conversation one-on-one or in real time, come visit me on my site at beckspeed.org to see how we can work together. <laughs>